you can stick around just in case it don't hurt right right <laughs> you know you know why exactly yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're gonna go forward off the dock we're gonna go forward okay so what you want me to do do the uh the spring the is and come back okay because i was gonna say the spring's already loose yeah start the bow all Just right take them off i'm ready jet ski I think to, to move out of the way I, got the I just saw a dolphin coming to our bow that had a tag on its fin that's the first time I've seen that. And actually a little while ago, we saw a, what looked like a strobe light flash and something moving in the water. There it is. Well, I don't think I caught him, but yeah, earlier we saw, Marie and I both saw it and we both questioned ourselves. Um, there's this flash of light in the water where there was some movement in the water so we were looking at it because of the movement and suddenly we both saw this flash of light but we never saw what it was attached to and there was only one glimpse but that was a dolphin with a definite tag on his his dorsal fin and uh, and it had a strobe light on it so that must have been what we saw earlier so that's two in the same day. I've never even seen one before. So that's interesting. No, he's still there. We have a dolphin riding on the side. Pretty good sized one. I don't know if he's still there or not. I think he left. Oh, yeah, I was trying to get a good shot of him sideways instead of from the top and put the camera down and he left. Sometimes you don't know if it's just the timing or if it scares him, huh? There's one on the bow. I'll go up there and see if I can catch it. I don't have a long um, handle on this particular camera. I can't put it down very far, if at all.
There's another one. It's got a tattoo on its fin. And it's got a beacon. That's the third one today. Sometimes you just can't grab a camera fast enough and that happens. The other was because my brain wasn't working fast enough. But the first one was a dolphin that twice, not once, but twice, jumped clean out of the water right in front of us. I mean, his entire body was out of the water. And I mean, he's out, he splashes back in and you go, oh darn, I didn't get the camera. You know, you couldn't get it fast enough. And then he did it again. If I'd have gotten the camera the first time, I'd have caught him the second time. <laughs> then, so then I grabbed the camera and he never did it again. There you go. Mm -hmm. I did get him and his group coming towards the bow to boat to ride it though, but no more jumping. The other one I missed was a pelican that was sitting on top of a marker out in the water. And we went real close to the marker and he was just nestled in for the night just all kind of snoozing dozing off and I don't even I think maybe he's asleep as we went by him because usually they'll fly off of those things and we went with it in maybe 10 feet of that pole and it would have just been a really great video of him sitting there and I'm like you know after we passed I went oh duh should have grabbed the camera so the next one I saw I grabbed the camera but he, he stood up <laughs> ah, the life of a cameraman. That's not to mention the turtle. That's right, I saw a sea turtle. You can never get those sea turtles. By the time you see one surface and think about it, he's already submerged. How so big was he? He was probably, I don't know, about that big across. Yeah. And uh, he looked 18, like maybe... 18 to 24 inches? Yeah, yeah, across the shell. I think he was a loggerhead, but I'm, I'm no expert on turtles, but that's what it looked like. It was one, maybe a loggerhead, so pretty cool. And that's not counting the shots that I missed. Or you that missed we shots? Missed of the sharks, the two pods of sharks. Oh, that's right. We did see a whole bunch of sharks. Yeah. You know, we didn't get any video of them. No. So, we try. I don't know what's going on here. There was a Grand Banks trawler in front of us. We were following a little ways behind it on the Skidaway River. And they, there was this little red runabout boat, two outboard engines on it. And as the Grand Banks passed that little red boat, the little red boat fell in behind it. And then the Grand Banks came to a stop. And so I slowed down. I didn't know what was going on and the Grand Bank started up again, but at a very slow speed. And the little red boat was following them and they keep stopping. The little red boat comes alongside, then they start up and then the little, they stop again. The little red boat comes alongside. So I have no idea what's going on. Well, I decided to quit following. So I sped up to my normal cruising speed because we got a storm coming in and I'd really like to get anchored. We're about, uh, about an hour, less than an hour maybe from our anchorage and this is really holding us up. So I'm going.
Well, I just passed them. I still don't know what was going on, but they've dropped anchor. So having mechanical problems maybe, but I mean, maybe they knew the people in the little red boat and called ahead and said, hey, can you come out and meet us and help us out? I don't know. And we'll probably never know. Unless they watch this video. Hey, if the guys on that Grand Banks with the little red boat uh, happen to watch this video, comment below and tell us what happened. We all want to know. Okay, I have a hypothesis. I think they were having mechanical problems and the little red boat was some mechanics. Shortly after I passed the Grand Banks, which I believe its name was Mary Virginia, um, the little red boat came flying past me. Uh, when they came past me, there were two guys in the little red boat and they both had on matching t-shirts. I couldn't read what the back of the t-shirt said, but you could clearly see they were matching and you could clearly see they were nautical. So like marine mechanic type stuff. So my guess is they were having, the Grand Banks was having mechanical problems. They called and the little red boat was en route to meet them. And when it saw them, it, it stopped and waited for them to get to them. And then they pulled alongside, transferred a guy from the little red boat, one of the mechanics, onto the Grand Banks. As soon as he was done, they dropped anchor while the mechanics went off, probably to get some parts or repair a part or whatever they're doing. And they'll get back underway. That's my guess. Uh, Mary Virginia, if I'm wrong, y'all comment and let me know. Because we still have inquiring minds. <laughs> what is it? Fish. Lots of them. Is that what keeps making all that splashing on? Yeah, just stick your camera out there. Ready? All right. Ready? All right. Oh my goodness! <laughs> That's a lot of fish. Oh my goodness. They run from the light. Yeah, turn the light back off. So we're sitting here, it's 10 o'clock at night, and we keep hearing these waves outside. I mean, big waves breaking, but our boat ain't moving. We're not rocking and rolling or anything, we're just sitting here. So I what in the world is that? So I open the door and I shine a flashlight out to see what's going on and there are hundreds, more like thousands, thousands yeah, of fish that are like, what, about four or five inches long each? No, they're about six or eight inches okay, long. Okay, six to eight inches. So <laughs> there's just all these fish everywhere right next to the boat in the water, illuminated by my light. As soon as I hit them with the light, they all started scattering. Did they come back? Yeah, they're back. Yeah, but not as many. That's because they went to the other side of the boat. So I don't know what they're doing just hanging out by our boat, but every now and then they, they'd all apparently jump up out of the water and that was the sound that we thought was waves. It's just all these hundreds and hundreds of fish jumping out of the water at one time. Weird. Thanks for watching.